Um, has there ever been – my question also is, are they the most unlikable Super Bowl roster in the last 10 to 20 years? Between Brady, who for all his greatness, it definitely gets a fair share of hate just because of how good he is and how much of – I mean, just kind of how pretentious he can be sometimes with his Uggs and kissing his son and whatnot. You got Indomitian Sue kicking people's heads. He won a Super Bowl. You got Antonio Brown and some – I don't even want to go through his rap sheet at this point. Uh, is this the most unlikable Super Bowl winner you can think of? Uh, Super Bowl winner, yes. I still don't think they're as unlikable as the 2012 Heat. Right, right. I mean, and that was less off the field or off the court than more just kind of the air of su superiority they kind of tried to hold themselves to before they've done anything. So, yeah, I agree. That, that's, a good, that's a good point. But, yeah, um, I, I was rooting against them all year. <laughs> and, I, and I don't hate A.B., and I think A.B.'s done a lot of terrible things, um, but I, I'm not in that in that kill A.B. camp because what I've seen is he needs football. That's an interesting way to look at it. And, and obviously there's a lot of good dudes on that team too. We can't just – Yeah, 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 yeah. You got your Mike <laughs> Evans who's already talking about taking a pay cut. Yeah. Uh, Chris Godwin, who gave Tom Brady his number and didn't charge him, that would have been at least a hundred thousand. At least I might want two fifty. Levante David, uh, consummate professional. Yeah. So I, I, I'm I'm just happy. Shit, I'm happy that it's over. 